gonna have a good day. Good morning, Eagle Nation. It is the 163rd day of school. It is the 2nd of May. It's a new month. It's also Asian Pacific uh, American Heritage Month. Wherever you may be, please stop. Please stand. Let us rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let's knock out 10 good ones because what are we down to? I think uh, after today, 17 days of the week, I mean 17 days this year. So let's do, uh, let's do 18 because the day's not over with. Join me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost there, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, keep going, 17, 18 days left in the school year. And then you, if you're in kindergarten, are going to first grade. If you're in first, you're going to second, and so on, all the way up the line. And if you're in eighth grade, you're making your way to high school. You're being promoted. What's going on? Well, we kick off Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and celebrate those with heritage from the Asian Pacific. So Asian countries uh, and also those in the Pacific, a lot of the island nations in, um, in the Pacific. And you might be asking, why the month of May? There's a beautiful article in NPR this morning that highlights the fact that it was celebrated in May to reference two key dates. Historically, on May 7th of 1843, it marked the arrival of the first Japanese immigrants to the United States. And then, on May 10th in 1869, also known as Golden Spike Day, recognized the completion of the first transcontinental railroad in the United States, which had significant contributions from Chinese workers. It's important to know your history. And in celebration of this, we're going to kick off our final writing contest of the year. We encourage everybody to participate, kindergarten through eighth grade, and we will have prizes. But more importantly, we have the opportunity to discover things about ourselves and find commonalities between our classmates and one another, and recognize also the differences between ourselves and one another. So I encourage everybody this month to have a conversation in your classroom about traditions that you might share, about those of you in your classrooms that might identify as Asian Pacific Americans and what traditions might be unique to your heritage and cultures, but also that might be in common and overlap with others in your classrooms. It is both those two things, or rather, it is those two things that make our shared humanity so rich. Both, what is it that we have that overlaps? And also, what is it that is different about us? Together, those two things make us whole. So I encourage you to have a conversation about that and discuss that within your classrooms. And then I want to discuss not just having uh, more generalized traditions, but I'd like you to narrow the focus to traditions in the summertime. As we approach summer, I'd like you to be thinking about what are some of the traditions, some of the pastimes that you celebrate in the summer? In other words, what does summer mean to you? Maybe it means sleeping late or playing more video games. Maybe it means getting a summer job. Maybe it means traveling near or far. Whatever it might mean to you, I encourage you to first have that discussion in your classrooms. And then I encourage you to write a personal narrative, a story that's real, but is about your past, your reflections, something that you recall about the joy of summertime. Turn your narrative essay in. You have until Friday, May the 20th. If you'd like to get feedback ahead of time, please turn it in ahead of time. I'd be happy to do so. And we'll see you then. We'll be happy to share those out in a celebration of us. Also, moving along, if you didn't know, it is Teacher Appreciation Week. So students, be sure to take some time today or tomorrow, all week, to appreciate your teachers. Maybe they need a gift card to their favorite coffee place. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you want to get them an apple. That's what we used to do. Or somebody used to do that back in the day. Um, maybe you get gift certificates at places where they like to eat because you know something about them. But if you do nothing else, it doesn't have to cost you money. Take a moment of just your time and whether you write it down and share it in a note or you just pull your teacher aside and simply say, 
Thank you. This is a great time to do just that. And for you teachers and staff, if you haven't swung by um, in the teacher's staff workroom, there are some homemade cookies and brownies for all of you. So make sure even uh, as instructional assistants, you are also supportive of our teachers and you should enjoy that celebration as we celebrate our teachers. So grab yourself a cookie or a brownie if you'd like to do so. Um, and students, be sure to do something kind for your teachers this week. And teachers, be sure to use this opportunity to do something kind for one another this week. Surely you have a teammate or a colleague to whom you'd like to say thanks this week. All right, let's get to some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning. Today is on the topic of imagination and dreams. So what's the craziest dream you've ever had? Have you ever dreamed of walking on Mars? How about living in an underwater city? These dreams might sound pretty ridiculous to you, but let's think about it. Many of the things that we take for granted today sounded ridiculous before their time, like computers, cell phones. It's true. People used to laugh at the idea. Now listen to these words from a Spanish educator and philosopher, Miguel Unamuno. Only he who attempts the ridiculous is capable of achieving the impossible. Only he or she who attempts the ridiculous is capable of achieving the impossible. So keep all your dreams alive, no matter how now how silly they may seem. Remember what seems impossible today may be ordinary tomorrow. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Mask up at times when you need to. Live and let live if you choose not to. Please keep your distance for the health and safety of all, because there are also stomach viruses going around right now. Then stay in your zones, put away your phones, and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. <laughs>